Ho, what's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with a movie review. Now, the movie we're going to be talking about is If. Now, If, ah, pun on words, if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert, for everyone that's not seen it yet, don't want to spoil it for you. Now, let's get into it. So, the movie If contains, you know, some of the actors that you may know, John Krakens Krakensky, and if you don't know who that is, if you watch The Office, he's Jim. And then also you have Michael, oh, well, not Michael Scott, Steve Carell who is Michael Scott in The Office. And then also Ryan Reynolds, who's played in Free Guy, Deadpool, Deadpool 2, the Deadpool, you know, Deadpool and Wolverine, those different movies. Now, the movie itself is about a girl named B. Her mother has passed away and she's kind of in this kind of funk. She meets these invisible friends or ifs and she ends up creating like a matchmaking service or starts matchmaking them, meaning she's putting them to different children since their old children forgot about them. Now, I'm going to tell you some good things and some bad things about the movie that I didn't like. But first, let's get into the good things. I will say the imaginary friends, like, it was really cool how they looked. Like, you had a humanoid, I was about to say bunny rabbit, but no, it was a humanoid, like, butterfly with the, you know, ballerina. It was, and then you've got, like, say a cup with arms and it had ice in it and it was just like different types of wacky looking characters which was really cool now i will say also what was really cool is is there was an art scene in the movie where basically it was like the art was interactive like you went through a painting and then all the art was kind of you touched the art and the art was interactive and it was really really cool in that movie and it reminded me of looney tunes back in action where they had did a scene where Elmer Fudge and Daffy Duck and Pugs Bunny were chasing each other in the art museum and they were going through the arts, different type of art pictures. Now, another thing that's really, really funny is I was looking at the cast list of the characters in this movie. And one of the characters, the Invisible Friends, his name is Keith. And there's a running joke, you know, they're like, oh my God, Keith, because he's some kid created an invisible friend an imaginary friend but they made that imaginary friend invisible so you couldn't see him come to find out i found out that this character who plays this character is brad pitt now what's funny about that is because like i told you ryan reynolds was in this movie ryan reynolds was in you know in the deadpool movie there was a character known as the vanisher meaning you could not see his face the only time you saw his face when he got electrocuted he was invisible he was also played by Brad Pitt. So I was like, that's a funny coincidence. You know, he played a Deadpool 2 and he's in The Invisible Friends, both as an invisible character. So that's really, really cool. But some of the things that I really, really wasn't like, I really didn't like was, or I was just like, eh, I don't know. They could have did that a little better. Like I told you, B lost her mother. And what ends up happening is she continuously visits this hospital where her father is in and it's implied or it's like you think that it's her father works at the hospital but come to find out that he's getting surgery so then also well i'm not even gonna tell you that don't want to spoil it to you but yeah he's getting surgery and it's like okay could you have told us you know and he doesn't even look like he's you know in the hospital just kind of getting checked up he's always joking around with her in the hospital so i'm like that's kind of weird. And then also how B immediately changes. And what I mean by her attitude changes. So first, like I said, in the first part of the movie, she's hanging out with her mother. She loves her mother. Her imagination is flowing. Her mother passes away. And she's she's just like, she doesn't want to, you know, be imaginary. She doesn't want to have like imaginary stuff or just kind of play around. She's like, I'm an adult or I'm a kid or I'm not a kid. And then she tells the ifs of that. I'm not a kid anymore. Then homegirl comes back and is like, you know what? I can help y'all. I'm going to go help y'all with the, you know, finding different kids. So I'm just like, okay. I felt like that was just a little bit too fast. Like her change was a little bit immediately too fast for me. But other than that, I really did like the movie. It was really nice. You know, the characters, different types of if characters were really cool. And if y'all have seen the movie, check it out. Or if you've seen it, tell me what you thought about it. If you haven't seen it, 
check it out. And remember, like the video, share it with your fam. And if you're subscribed, click that bell icon to be notified for more videos. And I'll see you on the next video, y'all. Bye, y'all. Millionaires. And I'll y'all have a blessed day, y'all. Bye.